Well, come back guys, uh, it's Mpumelelo Jamini, your boy again. So today I am back with a bang. Uh, today we'll be looking at our tax-free investment that we've been investing. This is a third video, I believe. Yes, it is. So today we'll be doing some housekeeping on some stuff that I've been learning, some stuff that I've been seeing um while i was gone while i was still doing my research and my other projects so i got inspired with some of the books that i've read and they've gave me some insight that i would like to present today so talking about the things that i've been learning reading uh while i was doing my research um i want i just want to touch the journey towards investing um so many articles and videos that i've been uh, watching and uh, books that I've been reading, they highly suggesting there's following um, steps to do towards your journey of investing. One of the things that they're suggesting is you first pay your debt first. Uh, for example, your credit card, you make sure that you pay them off. You make sure that you pay your loans uh, one of the greatest thing to do it is to see what interest rate is the highest towards what you're paying for. Once you do that, you put an extra money. If you do get some extra money, you allocate some money to pay it off first so that it won't take that much money away from you. Once you've done that, so now it's time to build your safety net. Once you do your safety net, they recommend three to six months of your expenses. If let's say you are earning um, 10,000 and your expenses is 5,000. So which means you, you should have like 15,000 in your safety net. Then you take that, that, that money, you put it in the money market. Once you put it there, therefore now you have the safety net so you can start investing so you're starting buying shares because your total focus now will be into buying shares each and every month so for example as you will see later in my portfolio that i've done some changes so that it, it will keep me focused and i sort of like have have the direction like going forward however you'll be seeing what i'm talking about because i'll be keep on updating you guys on this on this portfolio we'll build it together well one of the things that we ignore as young investors or people who are trying to invest we ignore the lessons of people who have been there before us they've learned and they came and now they are telling us how it works instead of using the knowledge that they are giving us therefore we try to do the same mistakes that they've done so that's the greatest thing that I'm praying for, not to repeat and to listen somehow to the advices that I'm getting. Or of course, advices that are legit. So why you should follow such steps? Because, for example, if you are investing and you are also paying for or loans or credit card, what happens is so your portfolio's interest grows at a smaller rate than the interest that you're paying at a loan. So if you first pay the thing that takes away the money from you, therefore you will gain what we call buying power because after paying for a loan, therefore you will have money to be able to spend. So the more you buy the shares, it increases your chance for you to get dividends because you'll be owning uh, more shares depending on the company that you hold, if it gives dividends or not. So the other thing is building your safety net, it helps because if you just go straight and invest, if anything happened and you don't have any money anyway, you just have the money that is locked in your portfolio, it will force you to sell your shares. For people who bought shares, um, especially uh, Sasol shares, when they were so cheap, so now you're holding this amount of shares, you bought them so cheap and they've been rising since then. And then... Boom, the crisis come. Now you have to sell your shares and you know that you will never get somehow, not really never, but somehow you know that high possibility that you cannot be able to buy the shares at that price again. So then it has to start and build 
and like demolish the house and build another one so it doesn't really make sense so the other thing is uh having to pick up stock and click that button to buy shares for me it's kind of like easy that's the easy part the difficult part is to stay invested you should stay invested never take that money never touch anything as you can see guys this is how uh, my portfolio looked like we had so many etfs that we bought so then we decided to do this as you can see that we've nailed it down to few etfs that we are holding right now as you can see we have the centric top 40 um which is on a jse then we also have the msci china index so we sort of like produced a video on this one where we were showing you guys how to invest at an ipo level i um, mean it's been doing pretty well as you can see we are up by 9.67 percent and as well we have the msci world then we have the nasdaq obvious then my favorite and this is kind of like expensive when uh, in terms of cost um out of all these etfs that i'm that i'm holding right now but i mean we are whooped by up by 13 percent. we're going to 14 and we're going strong and i am holding for days on this one so one of the whoop 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 Whew. I'm excited to show you this guys i'm very excited one of the things that i want to show you guys is the total performance on this portfolio since i've done the consolidation so can yep so as you can see we've been up by 11.75 percent guys and on top of that we still have some money to invest so let's jump to it and invest by this one so one thing that i need you guys to take note is that i'm buying this i'm buying this at the time when the market is closed so whatever i buy now it's going to be executed uh tomorrow so we have 500 how much should i put here i think let me put um 150 so we click 150 i'm sure it's gonna turn it's gonna tell us that uh it's gonna be executed tomorrow so let's go oh it yeah by pending instructions um okay it went through so then uh we come back let's see how much we have we have 375 so we click here obviously why not why not it's been doing good so probably we we'll have to put uh how much how much are we putting here so let's see uh let's put 175 175 then we buy Come on. And yes, and we went through. Then we have 200 bucks to go through. So let's do this. Um, let's go to China. 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 I think we uh, let's just put a hundred rand. Put a hundred rand on this ETF. Put a hundred rand on this ETF. Buy ones. Then we have on the box from here we do this so we went to china jc are you doing with it at three percent you've been going down uh we buy more how much do we have 
we have 100 bucks obviously we're gonna put 50 rands here and i'll pull 50 rands we buying then the rest is going to uh the rest is going here buy much we have 50.15 50.15 so that that's it guys we've just or oh, added some cash we'll see whenever we're buying some other etfs in here as i'll keep on updating you on this portfolio uh that's it for me thank you for watching stay safe stay sanitized and stay invested it's your boy Mpumelelo. remember to subscribe and share this kind of content to your friend because i'm sure they need it they don't need it